In the last tutorial we built the mechanical portion of a feeder, we built the electrical portion. Today we're going to check what food we can put in them. So to check, I've got some normal chicken corn because no doubt some of you will be using this feeder to feed your chickens. I've got some 4mm pellet fish food and some 8mm pellet fish food. So first of all, let's connect the power turn the power button on, the main switch at the back, um, so we're just going to see what this 25mm feed can actually handle, so let's try it with a bit of corn, now when I press the button because we've already uploaded the cord, the feed will turn on, there's a manual feed so if I came to my fish I just wanted to give them a little bit of extra food this is what I'd do. You can see it fed the corn really quickly, it didn't even crack that much of it. So it can feed corn. Next up is the 4mm fish food. So again, let's press the button, see how it handles it. Really well. no breakage at all, the food's completely whole. So it can do corn, it can do four mil, how's about eight mil? Will it be able to do the eight mil food? Now you see we've got a problem here. It looks like this union that I've put in is quite a thick one. This might be a bit too fat and causing the food to block. If you get a thinner pipe, it might feed the 8mm. So it will put the 8 mil through if you get a different union, but if you notice it's broke a little bit of it up. You can see that it's smashed the 8 mil into uh, four mil size pieces. So really the, the feed is only good to a four mil. Now why we've still got this one set up, let's see what its feed rate is in litres a minute. So. Because this is the temperature controlled and we need to input what its feed rate is in grams a second. So let's measure a litre of, weigh a litre of food, the food that you plan on using in it. Place it in the hopper. And just time how long it takes to feed the whole litre. about a litre a minute. So we know the weight, let's say it's uh, 100, uh, 300 grams, 60 seconds, just divided by 60 and that's your units in 16 grams a second, which is what you're putting into the controller. So the 25 millimetre feeder, with a better hopper, it can do 8 millimetre food because I've done it in the past, and I've done it for a long time in the past, but it's really suited for 4 millimetre food. It can deliver a litre a minute of 4mm food. So you can feed a substantial size aquaponics unit with this feeder. Obviously you wouldn't have it hooked up to this little hopper, you'd have it hooked up to your 200 litre hopper. But it could feed the whole system. So 
the next step, let's try the 20 millimeter feeder and see how that goes. This is the bog standard 20 millimeter feeder. There's nothing fancy about it. It just runs on timer. Let's first check if it can feed chicken feed. We're not going to put a lot in because the feed rate on this is really slow, as you're going to see now. Let's connect the power actually. And press the feed button. It is running, it's running ever so slowly. Because of the speed that this one runs at, it's suited to small aquaponics units. You could probably get away with feeding a cubic meter of water system with this but it would be running for a couple of minutes per feed so you see the corn's coming out ever so slowly like in the 10 seconds we had it on we've got four pieces of food so this might be better suited to your small aquariums. Next up, let's try it with the four mil. Let's just check it can deliver four mil um, fish food. Some of the in, just a little bit. Press the button again. Oh, it takes forever. But it is feeding it, I can hear it. So yeah, it is feeding it out, so it will do 4mm food. If you don't want to build your own controller and you just want to buy an off-the-shelf cheap one, I recommend using this feeder, purely because the off-the-shelf ones usually measure in minutes. No. So to run this for minutes might only be a small amount of food, but if you run the 25mm unit at minutes you'd have litres of food in your fish tank. Now we're going to try the, 25, uh, the 8mm food and the 20mm feeder. I don't think it's going to work. Well let's just see anyway. So it's still feeding the 4mm feed out at the moment. We've not got through to the 8mm. And no, it's not delivering the 8mm food in solid chunks, it's breaking it up. So, just to reiterate, the 25mm unit is good for corn 4mm food and 8mm food if you make a thinner junction block. The 20mm one's only good slow delivery of corn and 4mm food. <laughs> 